Let's now set up our Slim app and look at an example of creating a route, just so we know that everything is working properly. So to structure our application in the best way we can, we're going to create a new folder just within this shorty directory called app. And this is where all of our app files are going to live. Now the users aren't going to be browsing to this folder. Users are going to be browsing to a public folder. And that means that if you do decide to add styles on your main page, for example, you can go ahead and add your CSS in here, your JavaScript in here. And inside of this public file uh, folder, we're going to have an index.php file. That is the file that all of uh, your routes are going to go through. So let's head over to here and refresh. And if we click on public, this is where our, uh, our sort of domain would be. So anything after this would be after our domain. So we need our server to point to this as our root web directory. So inside of index.php then we're not going to do anything just yet. We're going to set up our app now. So inside of app, we want to create a new file. Uh, and essentially this is just going to be a start file, which is going to bootstrap our application and do anything that we need. And because users are going through index.php, we, we need to require this in. So let's go back a directory and require in app start.php. So we'll see why this makes sense in just a moment. Hopefully it will be clear. But let's now work on this start file to get slim up and running. So what we need to do then is uh, when we install dependencies with Composer, we don't have to include all of these uh, files in manually for each of these. We have an auto loader just here, which will load everything in for us. So all we need to include is vendor auto load, and that will give us access to Slim and our database component. So we're going to require in, going back a directory into vendor, and we're going to require autoload.php, and we're done. So now we want to define our app. So our app is going to be a new Slim instance. Now Slim is namespaced under Slim. So we can either say new Slim Slim like that. That's perfectly acceptable. But I prefer to import this at the top of my file. And all we need to do is say use Slim Slim. And that's it. Otherwise you'll see an error here. So now what we want to do is set our base URL for our project. This is going to be useful later on when we need to give back to the user uh, the full URL to their shortened uh, URL. So we're going to say app config and inside of here we pass an array in and for each of these keys we can basically choose what we want or we can override existing slim configuration. But I'm going to create a new one called base URL. And this is just going to be the URL to my public directory. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that into there. So we've pretty much set up our application now, but inside of index.php, we're not running our app. So all we need to do is say app run. And that's everything that we need to put inside of index.php. Because we're going to be working with roots to break our application up into small manageable pieces, we don't need to create a new file necessarily every time we want uh, a user to access something. So we're not going to be creating anything else within public uh, in terms of PHP files. I've just noticed this. Let's just tidy this uh, base URL up by removing the trailing forward slash. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit our public directory again and see what happens. And this is absolutely normal because we don't have a root set up for uh, our sort of home root, if you like. So let's quickly test out how this works. And we're going to be creating these in other files a bit later on to make things tidy. But this is how we create a root. And this is just essentially a pathway into a specific piece of functionality within your application. So we're going to say app get. We can have things like app post, app put, app delete. Uh, but in this case, it's just a get request to forward slash, which is just the home page that we land on. And then we're going to create a uh, function in here. This is a callback, which is going to run any code within this when we hit that uh, URL in our browser. So now I can just echo home, for example. And when I refresh, you see home here. So let's quickly look at a more advanced route. So something like generate, which we're eventually going to be building to generate URLs. This is going to be our API call. So if I just change this text here, 
we'll notice that when I refresh, this isn't going to work. If we just go to generate, you see we get not found. This is a standard server error that the generate directory was not found on this server. Now, this surely should work, but the problem here is we don't have an HT access file to route any requests through to our application. So this is all in the slim documentation. So I'm just going to paste over the HT access code that I'm going to be using, but you're going to want to create an HT access file like so save that. And you're going to want to pull over the following HT access configuration. So all this is doing is sending requests through to index.php. And because we're sending requests through to here, we've included start. This can be picked up by our app. So this means that this will now work. If we go and refresh, we see generate. So that is our app set up. I'm going to get rid of this here because I'm going to be creating this a bit later. But essentially all we've done is created a very simple uh, slim app. We've not really done anything yet, uh, but we're now ready to move on to the next part where we're going to be looking at setting up our database, ready to create our models, which will then be able to read that data.